This video I'm going to show how to back up the main operating system drive by creating an image and also how to restore it. This will only work on computers that have multiple drives, partitions, or external storage such as a network path or external drive. You won't be able to store the backup on the same drive that you're creating an image of. It's smart to check for and install updates before you create a backup so you won't have to do the same updates again after you restore your system image. I also like to clear the temporary files so my image will take up less space. I've seen updates that leave a whole previous Windows installation that were over 30 gigabytes. Another thing I like to do is turn off all the power saver options so my computer won't go to sleep while I'm backing it up. So I'll go down and search for edit power plan and then go up to click on it once it pops up. Now I'll set both turn off the display and put the computer to sleep to never and then click on change advanced power settings. I'll set the turn off hard disks after setting to zero. Click apply. Click OK and then go over to click on save changes. Now up to close the power options window. And now that the temporary files are done clearing, I can either go up top to the search bar to the left and type control panel here or down in the search bar at the bottom. Then I'll go up to click on control panel after it pops up and close the temporary files window since I'm done with that. Now what I want to do from here is click on this backup and restore Windows 7 link under system and security. Then I'll go up to the left and click on create a system image and it will choose my first drive letter below the drive I'm backing up so that would be my storage drive I've assigned the letter S to. Now I'll go down and click next and then on start backup to begin. This process can take quite a while depending on the type of drives you're using and how much space you're backing up, but I do this after building a computer and getting all the software set up. I will usually restore my computers about once per month to keep my system fast, but mostly to get rid of any possible malware that I may have picked up. So now that the backup is completed, I'll close both windows and show where the files for the image are stored in File Explorer. I chose the S drive to store the image, so I'll double click on that. And now there will be a folder named Windows Image Backup, so I'll double click on that as well. Then I'll click Continue to allow permission to open the folder. And again for the folder name for this computer, which is where all the files for the system image are stored. Next I'll show how to restore this image, so I'll go up and click on this PC, then double click on the C drive and create a folder to show that anything you store on this drive after performing the backup will be deleted. So now to restore the image, I'll go down and click on the Windows Start icon, then go over and click on the Power icon, and then reboot into safe mode by holding down the Shift key and clicking on Restart. Now when the computer starts up, it will show a blue screen with some options, so I'll click on Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, go down to click on See More Recovery Options, and System Image Recovery. Next it will look for the Windows Image Backup folder and load all of the images within it, so to select a particular one, you can choose the Select a System Image option and click Next. Now I'll go up and click on the storage C location and go back down and click next again. Then I go up and choose the backup I want and go down and click next a couple more times. And to start the restoration I would click finish here but I want to go back to show the first option which is the one I use most of the time. The default option is this use the latest available system image which is the recommended option if you only have one backup so I will go down and click next to continue. Then next again, and click finish where it will ask if I'm sure I want to continue, so I'll click yes to begin the restoration process, which can take quite a while if you have older drives and are using a lot of space on the one you backed up. And when the restoration is done, it will restart automatically and boot the system into the state the computer was in when you created the image. So if you're using a local account and change your password often, I would clear it before creating the image because you might forget what it was and have a hard time logging back in. Again, the system will be restored to exactly how it was right before you created the backup image. As you can see, the folder I created after the image completed is now gone, so it will undo everything you did to the operating system after backing it up. It's also a good idea to copy the Windows Image Backup folder to another drive in case the one it's stored on fails. Hopefully this video has helped, and feel free to ask any questions that you still may have in the comments. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe for more quick and on-point videos.